attention here because I'm not going to spend one hour here. I'm going to do it so that we can live. Right, right, right. He said something that there was a day that we were born in our day. And that is something that God always what keep it from us. Everybody might know the day that you were born, but the day that you're going to depart from it, you will never know. Because it's something that the Lord have what? Have hidden from us. Uh, we are here to go and say a goodbye to our mother. A very painful time. If God give you a thousand years to live in this, the day you are departing still, the family will gonna come into a place that we're gonna mourn. It, it, it is a part of us and it's a part of the life. So I believe we have been gathered here for one purpose. Yes. Yeah. We have been gathered here purpose. So we're going to pray, we're going to sing, and then we're going to give a few words before that we're going to say a final goodbye. We'll do a flower thing before we leave. And uh, the rest, we're going to leave them for them to uh, do the rest of it. Amen. So please, I want us all to gather here and let's all cooperate. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I told you to cry. I'm into my truck. this hour commit this session before you spirit of a living god take absolute control let everything father that we do over here will bring a glory and an honor father we thank you we bless you in jesus mighty name we pray let every believer say amen and amen amen, amen. you sing i bad with me And everyone on the graveyard side service. Uh, anybody ever hear or Abraham will be anywhere, we can be satisfied. And then the word of God said, There are three things that cannot be satisfied. Your mommy and son cannot be said enough. And one of them, it is a graveyard. Every day, you me, Mahanka said, We don't have a space for it anymore. In other words, every day, 
people who are going to be born and the people who are going to be die. But this afternoon, one thing that I wanted to ask you that could be you and I. But after today, where are you going? Bible says appointment for a man to die. But after <laughs> the death, there is a judgment. Everything that you're saying here, in you know, inspire our oh, mother, the mommy, not yet. What did woman was this? Woman was that. Nobody in the house. I will hear crumb for I'm robber that this person would die. Mm. That that day. Oh, where they were in the Papua you will never say that. But the left behind, what are things that we are learning? Today, it's a lot of things. When we are living, there's another Ghanaian man is going to be buried at the same time. There are a lot of things rushing. But today, I want you to ask you or give you opportunity. If you don't know Christ for yourself, this is a moment. Because a day is going to come out, you're going to be the same way. The day is going to come out. You know, when Pastor was said, there's a man that was given two weeks. A doctor was given the man two weeks because he have a heart, he have a kidney issue. And uh, while we're in the prayer line, somebody requested because the doctor have given information to the assistant so they are prepared. They are making preparation because he knew that the brother is going to be dying in two weeks. But we can we continue to pray. We continue to pray. And uh, one day I said to him, I said, Mr. Frimpong, no matter what, if the doctors have given you two weeks, everybody is going to die one day. But if it was not your time, God is going to keep you alive until the day he called you. And the two weeks, the doctor that gave the, this man two weeks, matter of fact, we continue to pray, believe God. The doctor died before that man. <laughs> two weeks passed, a month, two months, six months. God had another eight years into this man's life. Amen. On the 16th, I'm going to bury this man in Boston. That this is the time that the man, God, have called this man home. So there are certain things that we believe that me a shepherd, but say nyamin kaya ensi. But one thing that I wanted to give your life to Christ, the way you are going is important. We will prepare ourselves, but God make our final decision. So if you don't know Christ, I want you to think about yourself. That after this barrier, where you are going, we thank God for adding a year. When sister called me, almost three years, I come to the house, pray for this woman every month. First week of the month, I have to come. And then sometimes when I pray, she hear the voice because when the voice see that, that, that. And then sometimes I pray, mommy, then she open her eyes, say amen. For three consecutive years, every year, every month I go to the house and do communion and anoint her and leave. But when sister called me, I said, sister, this is what God has given to us. It's enough to so prepare yourself because it's going to happen. And indeed. So I thank God when you call me early in the morning, 4 a.m. Say, Pastor, how am I call? I said, well, thank God, because she wanted to take her to Ghana. I said, no, she's not going to come back 80 years to do anything again. But let's enjoy what God has given to us. So today, as we are here, gather here, as a friends, as a family, as a loved ones, there are things that we should learn. There are things that we should take it. When we live here, one day it's going to be yours. But where are you going? That's the most important thing. I don't know. I'm going to give the, uh, a free time for the family able to say goodbye. To them before we take everything if a friends anybody who do not have opportunity to say time and this is the time hallelujah we can take maybe two two three people before we do that flower yes i want to say something mm -hmm. uh, i want to read this from the predator i'm going to speak too much english but i want to say something and pastor thank you for everything here thank you for my friend rich let me opportunity to be in this person and my spirit tell me uh go to Psalm 116 verses 15, please. Somebody say in English, I want to say in Spanish. 116. 116. 116. 116. Somebody say in English, please. Oh Lord. Truly I am your servant. I'm your servant, the son of your maid servant. You have loosened my bonds. 116, yes. verse 15. Yes. Precious so, uh, okay. is the sight of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord. Is the death of his saints. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say in the Spanish. Side. En los ojos de Dios, la muerte de sus siervos es estima a los ojos de Dios sírvanle a Dios 
serve God, like her, her do it in his life. And, and like in church and a family. I want to finish with this word in the Bible. Oh Lord, thank you. Oh Lord, thank you. Psalm 48, verse 14. Who's saying in English? Psalm 48, 48, verse 14. Psalm 48, verse 14. For this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to death. Hallelujah. Este Dios. Es Dios nuestro. Y Él nos va a llevar aún más allá de la muerte. Thank you for everybody. De this transition. We're going to be in eternity for life. Worship Jesus. Amen. 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 I want us to uh, come in here. I just want to take this opportunity on behalf of the family and my, myself. Uh, I want to thank God. And uh, I want you to know that death reminds us that we live and fall in perfect world. We are reminded of the mankind falling and faith and the limitations. And anytime we stand at this place, in this graveyard, we always remember of the shadow that have been cast out of what? That the humanity because of what? The sin of Adam in the book of Romans. Hallelujah. Amen. But one thing that I want us to stand here and say, now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And for the first heaven and the first earth has passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw that the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepare a bride, a doman for her, what, her husband, and I hear a loud voice from a heaven saying, Behold, mm. hallelujah, the tabernacle of God is within a man, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be what will be them, be their God, and God will wipe away every tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death no more sorrow no more cry and they shall no more pain oh yes for the former things are passed away yes. then he's he who sit on the throne said behold i'm making all things new and he said to me right for this word are true and faithful and he said to me it is done I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give the foundation, the fountains of the water of the life, and all things I will be his God, and he shall be my sons. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what happened today, the Bible says it's going to be a new. Paul says something in the Thessalonica that there's something that Paul was saying for the people, the church have to know. That after the death, there's going to be a resurrection. And the resurrection is going to be a reunion. After everything, so our mother, physically we might not see her again. But she being transitioned into a new place. Hallelujah. And that is another day, another time, that we all will rejoice. I say about three things. That heaven is going to be a funny. Because many people that would think that other people are not going to make it. They were down who going to make it. Yes. And sometimes you people are that we think that they're going to be the first person be in heaven. That I put my credit card, I put everything. Those people are not going to make it. And the question that I ask, you going to be a surprise if you going to make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because sometimes we put on makers, we put everything. It looks like we are deceiving people, but your heart can tell you whether you make it or not. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are going to drop our mother down. Today. The spirit has been with the Lord, Amen. but it just transitioned. But the word is you and I. If you don't know Jesus as a personal savior today, you cannot live here. Hallelujah. And you don't accept Christ for your own. Because it's going to be a day. You might not gather the family members like this and the loved ones, but it's going to be yourself. Hallelujah. Amen.
now goodbye to our mother. I know the Lord have been taking our mother away. Who are us? Then we are able to ask why God did it. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is my strength. It's the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The one thing that I have decided of the Lord, that will I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord and all the days of my life to behold to the beauty of the Lord and to unique or inquire of his temple. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe there's no fear anymore because we know what our Lord and our Savior have done. Uh, normally we go to the graveyard, we do dust to the dust, those to the dust, but today is a wet. I was talking to them that it's not going to, so we're going to allow them to drop it for us, and then we pray for our mother to be accepted because it was God who gave it to us. But today we are here to say final goodbye, and then we are here to say the love and everything, and say God, I'm going to invite Reverend David to come and pray for our uh, for us before that we're gonna allow to drop it hallelujah Please. let's all bow our head down please one of the pastors to the pastors man of god to join us every pastor's praise our most gracious and heavenly father we want to thank you thank you jesus your word declares that in everything we should give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus who said us. Even in this time and at this time of grieving, we still want to find a moment to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For gifting our mother to us, to many, who has blessed many generations, who has impacted many generations for 86 years. We say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. This moment, as we say our final goodbye. We know that this is not the end of a life. Mm. We have hope in you. We have that hope that one day we will all meet together in glory. Yes. We commit the rest of the family into your hands, O oh God. We pray for your strength. We pray for your grace to strengthen them and to give them that hope in the name of Jesus Christ. We also commit anyone who is here this moment who does not have a relationship with you. But before we leave this place, may they have that encounter with you. May they have that relationship with you. That their lives will never be the same. But let it be said that on the day that Mama, or Ma, um, until Baya or, or Bapinyu was buried, that was the day I saw the Lord. Let it be said, and may many lives be affected in the name of Jesus Christ. She has left the legacy. I pray that her legacy will continue to live on. Amen. Will live on with her children, children's children, children's children's children to the 10th generation Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we bless your name. And even as we leave this place, I pray that your traveling messages take us safely back Amen. to wherever we came from. Let it ever be said that we came to the burial service of about and and this is what happened may you take us safely to where we came from and at the end of the day glory and honor so Amen. Unto you. father we give you praise we give you glory in jesus name amen, amen.
Shared a thought that this passage or this passing year have been a wonderful. Our mother have been a great companion, have been a great sister, a great brother, a great auntie, a great grandmother, a great a great uh, a sibling for everybody. Now we cherish the many blessings and the memories that God give our mother through His internal glory. Her faithfulness, her friendship, counseling, creating life, continue to be a radiance and testimony in our life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, she was she loved and saved. We commit her, the body to rest, knowing that her spirit is with the Lord Amen. in the heavenly house. Hallelujah. Amen. In so doing, we rest our hearts in this fresh confidence upon the sure and the certain hope of the resurrection of the life through Jesus Christ we will transform our lower body that it may be what confirmed to his glorious body according to the work by which he are able and even subdue all things through him amen, amen. 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 God give our mother and do not forget we are all coming from the earth so when we are departed, it is the same place that we're going to go. When we're able to put you up, you're still going to go into. So today, as we all gather here, Bible say we come into place like this. He said, let the dust go by dust. And the ashes into ashes. This is a place that many people we came out from. And the blessing in so doing is we commit our mother into a rest and we commit our soul. The spirit might continue to remain in God as we share this. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep our mother and the hope that we have in her. May the Lord continue as you call her into his own glory. Let everybody say amen. 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 Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we exalt you for who you are. For us to be with this family and be our mother. For the day that she was born and to the day that you have called her into glory father we thank you that you are accepting the soul for our mother and by the grace that you have given to us the family able to endure and able to stand i pray father bring each and everyone before you oh god in the name of jesus 
as we say final goodbye to our mother anybody who are here don't know you to the father demonstrate your love and compassion to them reveal yourself to us father and let there be a great lesson father for your children able to learn and adapt you oh god because we are born in purpose and our hope is still going to be in you but i pray oh god in the name of jesus strengthen us and empower us in jesus mighty name we pray amen Family, I just want to thank all of you for your support, your words of kindness, and just everything. Um, we thank you for uh, it's been a great help journey since October 30. And um, giving us everything, every support. And um, uh, thank you so much. I just hope to God that as you go home, the Lord takes you safely to wherever mm -hmm. you're going to. Uh, just one reminder, we have a small reception when we live here. Uh, the address. I think you have the address. Uh, it's near the Felix. It's very close by, so we can follow each other. Uh, Felix more. So. Oh, okay. Above Okay. Okay. The address is a uh, one two eight one five Fair Lakes Parkway. One two eight one five. So we can now. Uh, the former residence in hotel. So to, to make it simpler and easier, we can follow each other. At 5 p.m. Uh, we, we thought the whole thing was going to take longer, but let's all find our way. And once again, thank you so much. Hello, please. Let's let's. I believe. It's important that if we can drive there before that we're able to get the traffic, then everything can start because we can't use the field and you come back. It's going to be a so if we can go there right now and just go with the family, and after that, you can go home. I mean, so I believe we can go there now. You know, we don't need to wait until five o'clock. Let's go there now and try to get ourselves organized before we're able to organize ourselves. I believe we can come that time. I mean. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we uh, share the grace? Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. with you. May the Lord bless you. God bless you.